adipose stem cells. Are they important? You bet you they are. Very important. Look at all the things they can make. Okay? But each thing has its drawbacks, okay? Bone marrow, adipose, etc. So types of adipose, you have bone marrow, you have brown, you have mammary, white. But this is what we're mainly using, the white. The other stuff is not that important for us. So here's some of the characteristics of the white cells. Another slide's gonna show that a little better. This is what I'm concerned about, just using fat alone. The number of hematopoietic cells is really diminished and has a very small survival rate. So I think for the, some of these difficult problems when you're gonna just use fat alone, SVF alone, you may have some problems. That's why my theory is, why not use the best of both worlds, bone marrow and fat together? I think that gives me, I'm basically able to get sort of like a bone marrow of a 20 year old because I have enough cells of each. Now here's the, here's the problem with bone marrow versus fat. Look at the number of mesenchymal now, I'm talking about mesenchymal stem cells in fat versus an equal amount in bone marrow. Much, much more, okay? So that's one of the good things about the fat. Now, one of the best articles that you could read on fat is basically by my good friend, Dr. Bob Alexander. The Journal of Prototherapy 2012. He breaks down SVF into all sort of component parts. It's one of the best articles I've ever read. And I suggest you get it and read it. Now, he tells us that there's adipose-derived mesenchymal cells, hematopoietic adipocytes, T-regulatory cells, and vascular uh, cells. So again, the problem is they have a lot of mesenchymal cells for immune modulation, but they don't have too many hematopoietic cells.